Hello, good morning. I hope that everybody is well. Now, I know it's only been a few days since my last video, but I wanted to pop in today to talk to you about a specific sampler. Um, now, if you have attended one of my workshops or heard me talk about samplers, you may have heard me say this before, so I apologise. But um, when you see a sampler, if you stop to look at a sampler and really look at a sampler, so often it will talk to you. Um, and it is so easy that when you are, uh, say, are in a room, of beautiful samplers that your eye will always go to the bobby dazzler of a sampler. Um, now this sampler um, is a model uh, that was stitched by Mavina um, and will be released later this year for Hands Across the Sea samplers or possibly the beginning of the next year. Um, and you know I'm sure that everybody who's watching this video, your eye has gone to this sampler. But that's not really the sampler I want to talk about. The sampler I want to talk about today is this sampler. And um, I'm going to use Vina's model to um, support this sampler so that you can see it. Now, when I first saw this sampler, my eye went straight to the teddy bear and I thought, a little teddy bear sporting a blue dicky bow, how sweet would that be for a child sampler, uh, a sampler to hang on a child's wall or maybe, you know, to stitch to mark the birth of a baby. Um, and then my eye went from the teddy bear to the powerly fanta. I thought, a giant snail, how interesting. And then I thought, well, giant snails they're found in Africa or New Zealand so I thought well was this sampler stitched in Africa or New Zealand so um, that was it I wanted the sampler because it was a sampler that I could delve into and hopefully um, find out some interesting information and it turns out that Heather M. Jardine was from New Zealand and um, I suppose that, you know, when you stop and look at the parrots, um, you know, it was going to be um, a country, um, it wasn't going to be England. <laughs> and um, there is a book about New Zealand samplers. The sampler within this book that is of interest to us is Mary Borders that was stitched in 1928. You will see a parrot that is identical to the two large parrots that Heather stitched on her sampler. Um, now researching Heather, it was so interesting. Heather was born and lived her life in New Zealand and um, she grew up in Stratford in the Taraniki region of New Zealand which is the North Island. And um, when I was researching Heather, her family was so interesting. Her father was Leonard Hanford Jardine and his family um, had, um, I think he was probably third, second or third generation uh, New Zealander and his family um, had emigrated from Britain uh, in the um, 1800s and um, he was a World War I hero. He served with um, great uh, bravery and gallantry and he rose to be a Lieutenant Colonel in the um, Wellington Regiment and he was awarded the DSO and Bar and the Military Cross. And um, after the war he uh, became the chief engineer for the Taraniki Power Board and then when World War II broke out he served again even though he was quite old at that time um, and here is a picture of um, Leonard just here and the gentleman here is the Prince of Wales who later became Edward VIII and abdicated 
because of his love of Wallace Simpson. Um, Leonard certainly moved in interesting circles during the First World War. Now, um, Heather's mother was um, Agnes Reeford Maud Lewis, and she was born in Devon. And the Reefords uh, were a very wealthy family of uh, a farming family in Devon, and uh, her father was a very wealthy uh, mine owner uh, who eventually settled in Wales. Now, um, how a uh, English or uh, a British girl met a New Zealander. We don't quite know, but as they married in 1919 in London, I believe that um, Leonard met Agnes probably through his service in World War I. She might have been a volunteer nurse or, you know, some sort of uh, volunteer in the First World War, and they may have met in France or they may have met back in um, London. But um, she would probably have been, um, you know, um, a debutante. Um, she would have been, um, you know, a social mover. Her, fa her father had serious wealth. Um, so they married in 1919 and they went back to New Zealand and um, Heather had two sisters, Morwenna, Jennifer and April Loveday and Morwenna and Loveday are such traditional Cornish names and um, maybe uh, the Reefers based in Devon married into or, or Cornish families married into the Reeford family and those names may have come from Cornwall which is where I live. Um, Heather um, and her sister Morwenna did come to England. Uh, they came over on the Port Phillip uh, in 1948 and returned to New Zealand on the P&O steamship, the Himalaya. And when I was talking to Sandra about Heather, uh, she said that she could remember the Himalaya. When they came into um, England, uh, it was recorded on the passenger list that uh, Heather and Morwenna, uh, their profession was farming, and her father did have a farm in Stratford. Um, now, they had a brother who was killed in World War II, and the three girls, they never married. And Heather um, died in 1996 in, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna spell this because I can't pronounce it, W-A-I-R-O-A, -A, and Morwenna died in 2017 in Hastings, which is in Hawke's Bay. Um, I love all the little, um, sort of tidbits of information. Um, we believe that SMS stands for St Mary's School in Stratford. Um, and um, yeah, it's been great fun um, researching the sampler. Um, now, um, we have charted this sampler and we've put it into a little download. And um, this download um, comprises of um, a story about Heather and her family, a stitch guide, um, some information about um, Leonard, his war service and the acts of gallantry that, um, for, for why he was awarded the DSO bar and military cross are very interesting. We thought, why not mention it? Why not remember a hero and a thread legend? And then uh, there is a six page color um, chart and um, a six page black and white chart in the download. But this download is not for sale. This download is going to be a thank you gift for those people who are stitching at Morrison. And it's not available uh, to people who have just joined the Facebook group. This download is available for those people who have purchased the booklet for Anne Morrison. And um, 
here is the Anne Morrison sampler that we have a stitch along for starting in October. So um, for those people who have purchased the Anne Morrison booklet or who will purchase the Anne Morrison booklet throughout the stitch along year, uh, when your booklet is sent to you, you will receive a link to download the PDF for Heather's sampler and um, we hope that you enjoy stitching Heather's sampler. Um, she is uh, cross stitch over two and there are just some single running stitches around the edge of the sampler and a handful of double running stitches which form the little antennae on the two butterflies and their feet. The colours of the uh, sampler are here and there are two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve colours and um, in the little download we have included the uh, thread legend for um, Overa Soir's 103, the Overa Soir d'Alger and DMC. The stitch count uh, for the sampler is 162 stitches by 151 and it is suitable for needle workers of all abilities and it can be stitched on Ada, Lin Ada or Linen. Now if you stitch uh, this little sampler on 14 count Ada which is 28 count Linen it will measure 11.43 by 10.79 on 18 count Ada, which is 36 count linen, it will measure 8.89 by 8.32. And if you stitched it on 46 count linen, it would be 6.96 by 6.57, a very sweet size. Now, I chose Mary Lock sampler uh, to display this against because I thought isn't this the perfect match, uh, linen-wise, for Heather's sampler? And Mary um, Lock was stitched on Sweet Weeks Zweigart based uh, linen in parchment. Um, she is a very sweet little sampler, and um, I hope that those who um, are entitled to the free download um, will enjoy stitching this sampler for yourselves or for a child. Um, so there's nothing that you have to do to um, sort of, you, you can't purchase this. This is a download that you will receive the link for when you receive your Anne Morrison um, booklet. Um, we really appreciate people joining in stitch alongs for Hands Across the Sea samplers and that's why we like to make uh, the stitch alongs a little bit of extra fun by um, always providing a, a original sampler, antique sampler as a giveaway prize at the end of the year and um, maybe a few other prizes along the way and um, as we did for um, the Jane Fiddy stitch along, uh, we've provided um, this little download as a thank you present. But the difference between Anne Morrison and Jane Fiddis is that you have to purchase the booklet for Anne Morrison um, to receive the uh, little gift from us. Anyway, I better get cracking. It's Tuesday morning. I've got lots of things that I have to do this morning. Um, it was so hot yesterday. It was too hot for housework. It was too hot for anything yesterday. Um, anyway, until the weekend, uh, stay safe, stay well, have a brilliant week. Bye-bye.